Okay, according to what I'm seeing, we're now live. This is Jim Clark here at the Synchronicity Sanctuary in Central Virginia to share another contemplative focus with you. And that focus that we want to look at today is the individual human and universal consciousness. And the questions that people have asked throughout the centuries, the, through the millennia, about what is this all about? How did I get here? What does it mean? And so forth and so on. And the answer to that question, of course, is beyond the mind. Because the answer about who we are and what life is, what is the engine that is driving all of this creation? Where did it come from? And what? how does it persevere? So, as people have asked this question throughout the ages and, and, and different contexts, different uh, cultures and societies, uh, the answer to that question was really developed over many, many thousands of years and it's called meditation. It's taking your focus from the external world that you find yourself in, which is causing you to wonder and question what what is all of this um, and going in to find the answer rather than trying to think your way through it because that just leads to more confusion and theor theorizing but doesn't really resolve the question for you. So the, the answer to that question of course is the experience of yourself as the engine that is driving this creation because nothing less will do. If you don't have the experience, if you can't break away from your mind, go beyond your mind, if you can't bring yourself to that essence of who you are and what all of this is, then you're forever wondering and questioning and without an answer. And this is just more stress, right? So meditation in whatever form it may come is actually the answer in the sense that it is a balancing technique. That's all meditation is. We are having this experience in a polarized field of experience. We have the positive polarity, we have the negative polarity, and we have a space between the polarities. And it is that space between the polarities that allows us to go in and open the door to experience who we really are behind all of this show, all of this experience as a human being. And of course, that's what synchronicity is all about. We teach meditation. We have our own system of meditation. It's not the be all and end all, although from my experience, it certainly does work well and it takes a lot of the work out of meditation allows you to get your focus into it without trying to to uh, memorize a mantra or to keep your mental focus on just one thing. You can really just sort of use the technology and meditate with it and gradually bring yourself to that point just because it creates that experience in you. And so meditation when I first started to meditate, I know I used uh, traditional methods. I would sit and I would focus on a candlelight or I would sit and I would focus on a mantra. And these sometimes were very powerful experiences. They weren't consistent. It wasn't like every time I sat to meditate, I had an aha moment. But they did work. They were just slower and and not as consistent as what I find when I use the synchronicity technology that that creates and trains your brain into a pattern of meditation so so that you just naturally go into meditation even if you're thinking meditation is happening for you and I've had some tremendous breakthroughs with this uh, technique this technology and I still do so um, so to answer these questions about who we are and what, what it's all about, it's not something that can be told 
I mean, you can try, but it won't have much impact because it's still a concept. It's at the level of concepts. And the mind isn't, as my teacher said, an illusion generating machine. And that's what it's for. It thinks and thinks and creates and creates. It's, it's, it's amazing how creative the mind really is. And that's a very positive way to look at the mind. But to go beyond the mind is to just give it a rest. And in order for that to happen, you must have, you must quiet yourself down your body and all the noise in the body that's created from imbalances on the physical level must be addressed. Uh, your emotions and all of the uh, conflicts and stuff that are playing out at that level of the human experience must also be resolved and and quieted down and your thinking mind of course must come to rest it must you must allow it to be what it is and not to fight with it but to entrain it to just take a break and this is uh, naturally what happens with practice and this is what people have done throughout the ages. You meditate and it becomes a lifestyle. It's something you do every day, like you get up and you have breakfast. Same thing. It's something that you just do every day. And gradually you develop that meditative profile, if you will, that's you. And, and, and it becomes you. And you start to experience a presence of yourself that is beyond description it's not of the mind it's not a concept but it's something that is energetically present and tells you that there's much more to you than meets the eye and along the way you'll have other experiences and breakthroughs which we call peak experiences that show you that that the creation of the human experience is being uh, governed by something much, much more than the human experience itself. And yet they coexist and they're not in conflict, but rather they're going through a process that is intentional, a process that is, uh, as I was taught, is a pretense. It's like consciousness pretending to be what it is not. And in this case, it's using the human form for that, that experience, because the human, the human experience in the planet Earth, where we find ourselves, is the only experience here that is can reflect upon itself. And that is where the questions come from. This is where people wonder and, and want to get an answer. First, they want it mentally, and they want it conceptually. When that doesn't satisfy them, then they move into meditation, hopefully, and begin to develop the balance inside that and get quiet inside and so that they can give the busyness of the doing of being a human being so that the being of a human being is accentuated to the point that it can, that can override all of this activity for moments of of breakthrough of, of experiencing another aspect of yourself that is beyond the mind so uh, in my case i've had many experiences of of being something other than human or other than physical and there's insights along the way as you develop balance and, and what it's, it's just telling you that what you're doing is working you're getting the answers uh, and along with those experiences of course comes a lot of a blissful experience it's it's a fulfilling experience and it's a fulfillment that is is indescribable and it is not something that can ever be accomplished as far as i know anyway any other way so meditation a holistic lifestyle that supports meditation by balancing out uh, the body the physically the physical the mental and the emotional aspects of being human are brought into uh, coherence so that they're all working together and they're 
and they're fundamentally working in unison with each other rather than being scattered around in one and, and entertaining constant conflict in your emotional and mental dimensions or your body for that matter. And this is the practice that we do here. This is a practice that we teach and we offer our technology online for people to use at home. That's why it was developed because people don't want to necessarily travel to some remote location and set up a, a totally foreign lifestyle to begin their quest to find the answers to those questions. And it's not necessary. People can do this on their own with a little help from those who have been there already. And that's what we do here. So meditation and holistic lifestyle, living that in your home while you're busy fulfilling your obligations as uh, whatever your role is. It could be a mother or father. You could be a single, whatever you're doing, uh, by working this lifestyle into what you're doing now, you start to get the benefits of it. And as you get the benefits of it, you start to appreciate what balance means and what it does for you and, and the, the peacefulness and being, you know, that it provides and being centered, being able to focus and being able to include the people and activities in your life in a very positive way is, is one of the major benefits that I have still have today and still experience today. Because irregardless of what the expression is that I see on the outside, on the inside, I know that that expression is the same consciousness that I am. And so there's no, there's no separation in that sense. There, I, I'm still aware of the physical separation. I still see the form. I still experience the communication if there's some of that going on and so forth and so on. But there's also that underlying oneness that is there energetically and that transcends whatever my mind might think or what my emotions might be presenting and so forth and so on. So it's a way to answer that question if you're not too busy to ask it because most of us today are very busy. It's a, a exceptional period in the human experience where the opportunity to be forever distracted by what's going on outside of yourself is more than it has ever been. If you stop to think about this for a minute, way, way back, thousands of years ago, there weren't those distractions. You know, the daytime was filled full of activities to, to survive. And when the sun went down, those activities came to a halt. And what, you, what would you do then but reflect upon your experience sitting there wondering who, what, what, what is this all about? It sounds silly today because we have so much distraction going on all the time and people are very busy thinking and, and doing whatever it is they're doing and, and, and at a pace that has never existed on the planet before. So it's easy to get swept away and be so identified with whatever it is that you are seeing outside of yourself and never asking that question because it wouldn't occur to you, which is one of the reasons I do what I do here with these live broadcasts is just to throw it out there for people to contemplate. That's what contemplation is all about. It's to ask the questions and to focus on something in a way that allows you to go deeply into it until you start to realize that you're getting something out of that contemplation that you could not anticipate something more than you have ever experienced before a different kind of experience is generating from within yourself not from it's not something you're getting from outside of yourself it's something that you have in you already you're just getting rid of the clouds so that you can see the terrain as a one way to describe that. And that's what I wanted to share with you today was the individual human and universal consciousness 
the two existing simultaneously to each other, they're not separate, they're not in conflict, and yet if you stay in your mind and if you stay busy, if you stay focused outside of yourself, that will keep you in the illusion that that is all you are and that is what life is and there's a lot of suffering and unanswered questions if you're cut off from the origins of you. So it's really getting back to yourself, it's getting back to you before you took this form. And uh, in that experience, however it may show up for you, there is an answer that cannot ever be described, but the one that is the only answer that is fulfillment. And that is what I really want to stress here, and what I always try to stress in these little live broadcasts. So I'm going to leave you with that today. Contemplate yourself and your experience and what life is for you and what is it all about. And if you don't meditate, I urge you to find a meditation that you like, experiment with it, and take yourself into the journey of resolving the answers to these universal questions that we've been asking for forever. <laughs> all right, so thank you for watching, and I hope this has been of some service to you in some way and i'll be back again next monday morning with another broadcast and another contemplation to share with you